What is up guys? Welcome to video 10 here. We are getting close to the ending. Of course, we've got a lot of heavy lifting towards the end with uh, animating Mario and really doing the bulk of the work and getting this game to be an actual game. Um, but in this episode, it's going to be a real quick and easy episode where we um, create the walls. And so if we pull up the image here, the exit pipes on the right there, there's an exit pipe and then these different walls and floors we need to create. So if we go over to our text editor, go ahead and go into entities and let's go down to our uh, helpers object here and let's create a new helper. And this class that we'll be creating is going to be a wall. So we'll create a class function and I need an X, a Y, a width and a height. And this is going to have a type on it. And it is equal to a string of wall. The reason why we're doing these types is for collision detection later on. We need to know what we're colliding into. And then the rest of this is pretty basic, straightforward. We set it to the width and height that are passed in. To us okay just like that and let's do the same thing let's copy this it's going to be almost exactly the same but it's going to be an exit pipe so let's change the name to exit pipe it does have an x y width height and then this will be changed to exit pipe is the type okay let's save that now let's go to the top and actually add these to our entities object inside of the data object. Um, and so what I'll go ahead and do is here, I'm gonna create an exit pipe. There's just one in this level. I already went ahead and got the coordinates for us. To make this easier we don't need an image guys or sprite of course because we just really need to know what we're colliding with and it's already being drawn on the screen by the background so the x is 624 624 pixels over from the left 432 pixels from the top the area is 144 pixels wide and 168 pixels tall so now we have the exit pipe. Let's go ahead and just make sure that we add him to our data object here. Exit pipe, oops, Pope, huh? Exit pipe. And it'll be equal to exit pipe. Okay, next up with the walls, we need to, there are essentially four different walls on this screen. You have that one on the left, this big brick barrier in the middle, the top, and then the actual floor. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to create kind of the same thing that we did with the coins. I'm gonna do var equals wall locations. And I'm gonna set that equal to an array. And I'm gonna pass in, um, multiple coordinates. So for the first one, it's 0x, 0y, 48 width, and 600 height. I forgot to add the spaces there for readability. And um, let's add another one. The coordinates for this one will be 0, 528, 768, and 72. Then we need to add two more here. 192, 384, 336, 216. Last array inside of our array here. 726, 0, 42, and 600. Just like that, okay? Then I'll come down here. Let's create a, an uh, 
array. So data dot entities dot walls array. Set that equal to an empty array. Come down here. I'll do wall locations dot for each. Create a callback. So we location. And what I need to do is I need to create a new wall class for each of the those four coordinates and the data that we created. So that will be real easy. We're going to be pushing them into the walls array. We'll do new entities dot helpers dot wall. What I'll be passing in is this. So the first object in each of the arrays is uh, an X. The second is the Y. The third is the width. And the fourth is the height. Just like that. Okay, so now we can save that. That is created. So now we have walls and an exit pipe that we can now go ahead in the next episode and apply or create really our physics engine. So our uh, collision detection is what we'll be handling in the next episode. And uh, yeah, just a disclaimer, by the way, I showed in the last episode, if you pulled up, at least on the video, I pulled up for you guys. I don't know why, but my, oh, let me turn the volume down. My uh, screen recorder, it looks like it's skippy. If you're following along in the tutorial, Mario actually falls really smoothly and you can see him, but in mine it like stutters and that is a screen recording issue. So don't uh, really pay any attention to that. If you're following along, it, it's working exactly how it is. So anyways, um, that is it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Like I said, we are almost there. So later.